What's happening, peoples? This is Goose of the Anonymous Traders. Got one more video for you here on this uh, 4th of July weekend, man. I hope everybody's having fun, staying safe. Um, but yeah, I wanted to touch base. So my last video just now was about job and how I made that decision really quickly. Another call that I made on Thursday morning was ZERS. And uh, to be honest, I didn't even know about the ZERS news in the after hours. Uh, all I know is I watched the movement at 4 a.m. ZERS was spiking. And so I immediately looked at the news. I wanted to know is that something that I'm going to buy in on. Okay. So uh, if you look at this, right, and I already touched base on job. I already knew about job. I already had job in the mind. I already knew what was going on with job. If you didn't watch that video, uh, we'll take a look real quick. If you didn't watch that video, Basically, Job came out with news at midnight um, that they cleared 47 million in debt. Okay, 47 million in debt, 4 million market cap. All right, 4 million market cap. Right, net income negative 19 million, revenue 149 million. All right, so that makes that news a really big deal. Okay. So I already got job on the mind, right? I wanted to see why job was job wasn't moving yet, right? And Zerz was the the one taken off at 4 a.m. So I immediately went, man, what's going on here? Let's go take a look at what happened to Zerz. So Zerz, it says here that it spiked after hours, making a parabolic move higher than lower. This trader circulate a government document showing 4.1 million contracts. Okay, via the Department of Veteran Affairs. So it's a big deal. It's a government government contract. Those are always big deal. The important number, though, is 4.1 million. Okay. Then you look at the after-hour spike. Yeah, pretty decent. Spikes up, but then it fades. So somebody knew something, right? Uh, but then it continued to spike. So it's, it's got some upward momentum. It's actually a chart that I like. It closed on its highs after hours. Uh, so I would have actually played it if I looked at it. But I didn't really uh, pay attention to that one for some reason. It must have slipped my mind. So anyway, it gaps up at 4 a.m. And then it starts spiking. Okay? That's when I'm looking at this news. Same thing. Okay? 4.1 million. Market cap. 101 million. All right? You see the difference there? Job had a 47 million clearance of debt with a market cap of 4 million. All right, this one's got a $4 million contract with a market cap of $100 million. Okay? So, not as big of a deal. Now, you could look at the key data. You got revenue of $4.2 million. So, you're immediately thinking $4 million contract. They just doubled the revenue, right? Net income, really shitty. So, that's not even going to make a dent. Negative $129 million is your net income. This $4 million contract isn't going to do shit, okay? And their market cap is $101 million, all right? So immediately it's at like up in here, and I'm like, dude, this is this is bullshit. Uh, and I called the downside short right at 384 Like, man, you, uh, yeah. And look at what happened, okay? People ask me, why? Why, why would you call a downside short on that? Well, there's two reasons. That contract means fucking bullshit to them. Now they're 125 million negative net income. Bravo. And their market cap's 101 million. So it really doesn't mean anything. And then you got the news of job coming out with 47 million debt clearance on a market cap of 4 million with a net income of negative 19. They just cleared their net income. Doubled it. All right. That's a much bigger deal. So you got the two news balancing each other out. That's an easy call. This short was probably the easiest call I made all day. All right. I didn't know job was going to spike that much. I figured it'd do a good 50% gain, but 300%. And then it went further than that after after hours. I, I, or not after hours, but uh, during the market hours. I actually said, you know, you should be selling it here long when it was at 300%. Uh, I 
because the risk is too high. It might spike, it might short squeeze, whatever, but the risk is too high. Take your profit. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to show you that it's a big difference. So you got to know the valuation of news and whether it's actually important to that stock, whether it's going to make a difference, because that's what's going to make a difference in the price action. That's why you see earnings that just pop way up and then pop all the way back down and do nothing. And then you've got other earnings that go <laughs> all the way to the thing. Because one earnings actually makes a difference. The other one doesn't make a dip. Okay? So, once again, this awesome screen you're seeing here is uh, provided by Benzinda Pro. I get all of this information. Click at the button. It's the best resource out there. I highly recommend it. There's a link in the comments. Uh, free trial, 14 days, no payment obligation. You got nothing to lose, man. You got nothing to lose and everything to gain. So, uh, other than that, like and subscribe. I'm going to have more videos coming at you in the future. Uh, this is just the beginning. And uh, again, happy 4th of July. Stay safe, have fun, and I'll catch you on the flip side.